information that we've been sharing today would not have been possible without the leadership and the technology of One Community. One Community is our regional internet service provider, but it's a whole lot more than that. It's also a significant thought leader, not only here in the region, but across the country. The co-founder of One Community and its president and CEO is Scott Work, and I'd like to ask you to join me in welcoming Scott.
We need to start sharing it, and we need to move up this value chain from data to information to knowledge to wisdom. That's how we start changing society. We start being a smart community and start working together across our sectors, sharing the data, and actually making it actionable. And that's what makes us productive. And in turn, when we're more productive, we're able to shift more resources towards innovation. We're starting to see that here in the universities, which certainly have gotten increasingly interested in innovation themselves and commercialization and tech transfer. We see that in our healthcare systems. So a local example, I believe it was Blair mentioned big data earlier today. So big data is all this data that's hidden out there somewhere. Not everybody knows what to do with it. Well, to bring meaning to it, we need computing. So fortunately, there's huge computing resources and mentioned cloud, which is, just means it's plugged in and over the internet, we're getting computing capabilities. So uh, an example of smart use of data, um, getting smart, is a local company called Explorers. They work with 12 healthcare systems, including our local ones. They got 14 million, dollar, uh, sorry, 14 million medical records, and they started analyzing it. And as you can see in the slide here, I won't read it, but in just three months, they were able to replicate what took over a decade previously, at a fraction of the cost with a vastly increased quality level. Exciting company, it's a Cleveland based company, and again, it's one of the leaders in big data. And big data to the healthcare industry is about a value of about $300 billion a year. So, back to the societal, non trivial societal issue. So, so, the vision is not just doing the applications from the bottom up, but how do we start looking at our community more broadly? How do we look at our key sectors here? How do we start instrumenting them with these systems, with this data, and moving them up to knowledge and wisdom? wisdom and being smart about how we deliver our social services, our health services, being more efficient, and then again pushing the, uh, the investment levels, the same investment levels, the capacities, up to the innovation cycle. So really what we're trying to do is we start with, with really connecting them through broadband network. In, in Northeast Ohio, we're lucky in that we've got thousands of public sector entities already plugged into the One Community Network. And you've seen that many, many folks here today are doing great things on top of it, great programming on top of it. Um, we've got to foster collaboration. We've got to start coordinating systems. So we need to actually get different siloed organizations, departments. We need to move these applications from an individual level or a departmental level um, or an organizational level to actually looking at systems. Um, two examples might be uh, our knowledge system, you know, which includes education, but is business at the table on our workforce discussion. Um, is that leadership there? Um, another example might be our innovation systems. Are all these guys thinking about how they can support innovation? So we're talking about the competitiveness of our region, powered by this broadband and the sky's the limit, but if we connect everybody, plug them all in, and start coordinating them, we can actually start driving productivity and increased innovation. So a quick example would be healthcare. The, uh, Healthcare system most spare you going through the whole supply chain of healthcare. Um, uh, it's obviously um, uh, got some bureaucracy to it. Um, just the payments alone, if, if you've been to a healthcare system, uh, can be quite challenging. Um, what's neat is if we can automate that, so we already lead in quality. What if we were to automate that, become more productive, and invest in innovation? So we're starting to certainly increase our focus on innovation. But let me give you a, a couple examples. Um, you saw examples today of telemedicine. So what if we were to take uh, telemedicine make that our core. So what if we were to actually deliver these systems and take our great healthcare capacities and actually broadcast them over the internet globally? We actually could make healthcare services our biggest export. So lots of opportunities. We, we need to coordinate, build capacities, and again focus on innovation. Another local example is, is uh, HealthSpot. So this is telemedicine. It's local. It was actually uh, designed just minutes from here. Um, it's actually telemedicine. You can deploy it anywhere. You put, plug it into broadband, and actually doctors from anywhere can actually come in and deliver services. What's important about this is that you can actually get uh, cost down, for example, versus an emergency room visit that handles many of the things this can handle with these instrumentations and these doctors. And the costs are, um, fall from over $1,000 down to about $50. Very disruptive technology, and it's coming our way. And again, Cleveland's already starting to do it, but we can certainly increase our focus. So again, getting back to the societal thing, what we want to do is we want to actually focus the systems on common outcomes. We want to connect them, align them,
focus on those outcomes, use data, use broadband, use these systems to actually drive these outcomes. So it, it sounds like a, a great concept, but, but these systems are certainly not going to self-organize. And again, we certainly need business at the table. So the roadmap, going, taking it from concept to actually uh, uh, beyond, so engage leadership. So the first step on actually making the smart region is actually engaging leadership. So, so we've certainly got the broadband, but we need more leaders engaged in thinking about their organization and how they can actually step out of the silos, break it down, take the data, move it to knowledge, and actually be more productive, and all focus on these outcomes, which is uh, namely the knowledge, <coughs> me, the knowledge workers and innovation. Shared vision and aligned planning, again, planning outside our silos, but we also don't have technology in most of our region's plans. That's really important. The tech sector is actually leading. We need to actually um, share the leadership and start getting everybody to think about how can technology inform our decisions and how the future technologies, how they can impact us favorably and un unfavorably. Committed public-private partnerships. Again, uh, the best example is uh, we certainly need tech companies in the conversation and we need, uh, <clears throat> uh, we need business leaders. So again, workforce, we need to connect workers into these systems, we need to map and bring into businesses. It's going to turn project-based, it's got to flow, it's got to be great. And, and who has more to, more to benefit than businesses from being more innovative as a region and better getting talent into their businesses? And then lastly, the infrastructure. One community has expanded uh, um, dramatically. We now are in 25 counties. Um, we go all the way from Toledo, Toledo down to Columbus, out to Youngstown. And we've connected thousands of public sector entities. And now we're working with the private sector to start building stuff on top of it. So a great innovation opportunity, a great opportunity to be more productive, more innovative. And I, I think really the question is, can we take advantage of this opportunity? Will anybody come up and actually use this? And that's really why we're here today building interest in this and capacity in this. So what we need to do is we actually need to go back to this chart and say engage leadership. So I'm hoping today to get some volunteers on how we can start working on this, this plan for a smart region. Um, we certainly led uh, back in the day in the Industrial Revolution. We have a unique opportunity now to lead in the knowledge revolution, the information revolution, and I hope you'll join us.